Certainly a concern about safety is the reason they're doing this, Antoinette. We spoke with a student and her mother this morning, and they said it did not go smoothly. I dropped her off about 7 o'clock for her to be able to navigate the line. 9 o'clock she called me, she was still in this line. That line extends along the fence and around the corner. And Brockton High School ninth grader Jamia Kelly is one of dozens of students who waited in the rain just to get into school. Only she never did. We was out there for like two hours. And we're talking here now and you're supposed to be at school. Yes, it's like third period. Oh, yes. So you're missing today? Yes. In an effort to keep students and staff safe, school leaders put walk-through metal detectors in place this morning instead of handheld wands. It's in response to a report of a gun Friday from a picture posted to social media. It ended up being from a September photo, but led to a stay-in-place order and a student arrest. And earlier this month, a student was arrested who brought a gun to the building, which was found in a backpack. Today, this heartbreaking message on one student's sign, I don't have a gun, now can we get some learning done? They're being you know, prosecuted for a couple of kids that didn't follow the rules or, or broke the rules completely, and I understand everybody wants to be safe, but these children are outside in the cold for over two hours to get into school to learn. How does that not discourage a child? Cassandra Kelly eventually left work to pick her daughter up and bring her home because Jamia just got over the flu and still couldn't get inside. It's to the point where you don't know if there is a solution to the behaviors that some kids do bring to Brockton High, but I definitely do not think this is the solution. And Brockton Schools tweeted this message saying we want to thank our students for their incredible patience this morning as the high school rolled out its new safety measures. As with any new process, we will get better and more efficient every day. Now, the school is not allowing the students to bring backpacks in the building. The only thing they can bring is something that fits a laptop. We're live in Brockton. Josh Brogadier, WCVB News Center 5.